Hello, today we're going to talk about reactivity 3.4.13. This is an HL only topic and we're talking about electrophilic substitution. So let's briefly review what electrophilic substitution is and then we will get into the mechanism of that. Um, and it all has to do with benzene. So benzene is super special. Um, benzene is C6H6. So it has six carbons in a ring and each of those carbons has just one hydrogen. And so there are six additional pi electrons that are free to move around the entire ring. So we usually draw it with a circle to represent the electrons are moving through the whole thing. And um, so that resonance, the delocalized electrons makes benzene really, really stable. So it cannot react like other alkenes Remember, alkenes can react with um, electrophilic addition and break those double bonds. Benzene doesn't do that because of how stable that like pi system is with the um, delocalized electrons. But what can happen is that some kind of electrophile can come in and substitute for one of the hydrogens in the ring. And so you'd be left with, you still have your delocalized electron system there but then your electrophile is on the ring and hydrogen has left. So it's a substitution of those. So let's look at the mechanism, how this works. Um, you have your benzene. I'm not gonna draw every hydrogen. Um, you don't really need to because the hydrogens are like assumed for skeletal structures. I will draw one of the hydrogens though, the one that's going to be part of our reaction. Um, so that way you can keep track of it. And then whatever your electrophile is, usually something with a positive charge, but something that um, wants to attract electrons. That pi system of electrons, the delocalized electrons, can um, are attracted to this electrophile. So we have our curly arrow here. And this first step is pretty slow. But effectively, you're going to have an interaction with one of the carbons between a hydrogen and that electrophile. Because of that, you no longer have all six electrons in your delocalized ring. We draw that as like, like a partial ring with a positive charge. Because if you think about it, benzene's neutral, the electrophile is positive, so we need to represent that positive charge in our product here um, and it needed to use a couple of those pi electrons to form this new um, bond to the electrophile so um, that's why you don't show the entire ring in this cation intermediate then what happens is that the hydrogen is the bond to the hydrogen those electrons are going to go in and fill in where the electrons were missing. Um, some people draw it like this. I think it makes more sense to draw it to where the bonds actually are. Um, and then you are going to, let me make my arrow just a little bit more clear, like this. And then you are going to wind up with the hydrogen all on its own. You'll reform that benzene with the six pi electrons through the ring. The electrophile is attached still, and that hydrogen will be on its own. Um, don't forget, though, that you still have five more electrons. I'm sorry, five more uh, hydrogen atoms around that ring. Five more hydrogens here. Five more hydrogens in your final product. Um, we just don't typically show them when we're drawing skeleton structures. So a really, really common example of electrophilic substitution of benzene is nitration, the nitration of benzene. This is the version that pops up all of the time that you should definitely know. So what happens is the nitric acid can react with sulfuric acid. So you have to have both of those things present for this to happen. It's going to transfer one of the hydrogens. So you get something like this. And then 
that further reacts to release water and NO2 plus. And then you'll still have that HSO4. The HSO4 doesn't really do anything between um, for that second step. It's just this is not the most stable, so it splits apart into water and NO2 positive. And um, this is going to be our electrophile for the nitration of benzene. So then you can go in and, and go through your electrophilic substitution mechanism. I'm going to show just the one hydrogen that's involved. I have my NO2 plus. The electrons are going to transfer over. You're going to form this partial delocalized system. Those don't look like dots. Where hydrogen and the nitrate are both interacting. And then the um, electrons in that bond to hydrogen transfer back to the ring. So you are left with nitrobenzene and another hydrogen. Now what's cool about this is that hydrogen then can go back to our HSO4 um, to form sulfuric acid again. So I'm gonna write it like this. Actually, this and this come together to form our, that's better, to form our H2SO4, um, which effectively means that H2SO4 is a catalyst because it's there at the beginning and it's there at the end. Um, and it provides that extra hydrogen needed to produce the um, NO2 positive electrophile. Uh, but the hydrogen that, that is released can reattach to the H2SO4. So that, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I would definitely know this example of um, electrophilic substitution. Okay, so this example, state the reactants used in converting benzene to nitrobenzene. Well, so you definitely need benzene. A lot of people will forget that one, but you need benzene, you need nitric acid, and you need sulfuric acid. The nitric acid gets converted to the electrophile and the sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst providing additional hydrogen ions to prepare our electrophile but it is um, regenerated at the end of the nitration reaction okay so now this topic links to structure 2.2 the features of benzene that make it not prone to addition reactions um, so those Pi electrons, let me see if I can draw it a little bit better actually. There's one ring and there's another carbon ring. So one way that you could draw benzene instead of using that uh, circle, there we go, is by drawing two resonance structures. And then um, hydrogens fill in all of the other spots. So because there are multiple ways that the double bonds can arrange themselves around the ring, um, all of those things occur. So really there's two electrons, two electrons, two electrons. There's six electrons, six pi electrons that are free to move around the entire ring. And so that's why it's a little bit easier for us to draw, just draw like this, the electrons are free to move. So because it's in this really like delocalized situation, um, you're not likely to have that any one double bond breaking, uh, which you need to have for an electrophilic addition reaction to happen. Now, this is an interesting question. Um, nitration of benzene uses a mixture of concentrated nitric and sulfuric acids. So the um, remember the nitric acid reacts with the sulfuric acid, and it forms this H2NO3 and our HSO4 negative. And so effectively the hydrogen is getting transferred from the sulfuric to the nitric acid. So that means that in this particular situation, even though nitric acid is a strong acid, in this case, the nitric acid is acting as a Bronsted-Lowry base because it's accepting a proton 
and the sulfuric acid is acting as a Bronsted-Lowry acid because it's donating the proton.